Hello and welcome back to the lounge. Today is Monday, June 4th, and we're back here. I'm back in Miami. I'm back ready to record another episode of Coffee and Cigars. Uh, water bottle right in the middle of the shot because I was drinking water earlier. I'll take another sip right now. Pull the old Marco Rubio. Ah. Yep. Uh, if you remember from the presidential campaign when Marco Rubio did that in the middle of a, of a video, uh, everyone made fun of him for that. So that's why I said do the old Marco Rubio. But um, either way, we're here for coffee and cigars. I remember a couple weeks ago we did uh, one of Maya Selva's other cigars, the Kumpai. But then I was reading a little bit and I heard that the Flor de Selva Maduro Toro goes very 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 well with some uh either chocolate or coffee so i was like i have a segment for coffee and cigars let's try this coffee with uh or this cigar with some coffee so here we are it's a maduro typically we do the uh the lighter cigars on this segment but time to step up step out of our comfort zone and try a uh maduro so Jam-packed with flavor, from what I hear. Well, every Maduro is, you know, in theory. So, uh, should go very well with some, uh, some coffee. So, we're gonna go ahead and try it. The, uh, uh, we're gonna go over the sight, the smell, the taste, and then, of course, the construction. Unfortunately, on Friday, we tried a cigar that did not have very good, uh, construction towards the very middle of it. I was very disappointed since I liked that cigar a lot, but... Either way, we're going to try uh, this one today. So, Sight, dark brown, looks like a uh, hazelnut color, maybe like a uh, oak brown, maybe like some, uh, it's, it's nice and dark, nice ring gauge, just like a nice cigar, the label, the classic Flood de Selva. It's a Toro, so it's going to be a little longer. Sight, very pretty cigar handsome i would say more of a male cigar looks like a male cigar good co looks like it's constructed well a little bit oily a little bit shiny just the characteristics this one's giving off looks like brown dirt been in my humidor so it's nice and uh humid moist ready to be consumed by the consumer dark brown i'd say it's like a dark oak you know, varnished and everything. Overall, um, looks like a great, looks like a good smoke. You know what I mean? Like I, I've smoked this one before. It was, it was good back when I smoked it back then. I don't expect anything else from it right now. So yeah, like a dark brown wood. It looks like, like a, you know, like a burned or scorched oak barrel. A little darker than that can't pinpoint exactly which color brown I'm trying to get at but it looks like a nice moist dirt something like that now smell I'm gonna go in for the smell mmm smells like it smells like Nutella kind of like like a like a hazelnut chocolate kind of a little bit of cinnamon as well. <sighs> mm, it smells like a Crayola in a sense. Like a, it's trying to paint a picture for me. Mmm. Yep, smells like a hazelnut coffee, maybe. Toffee, maybe. Getting a little bit of nut sack now. In a good way. I guess, I don't know how you would take that, but it smells kind of like nut sack. I've never smelled another person's nut sack, so I know all of you... I know some of you are thinking that right now, like, Oh, Javi, how do you know what that smells like? Definitely a lot of nut, cinnamon I'm getting, kind of like a pecan pie, apple pie maybe.
Good smelling cigar. Good smell. Good smelling cigar. Sight pretty. Smell even better. Just a nice Maduro. Nice, nice Maduro. Funny how I just skipped the Habanos completely. I went straight from, you know, every single cigar I had smoked on the... Wait, what's it? No, last time I smoked the Habano. Last time I smoked the Last Call, I think. Or one of these kind. I'm pissed. So now you're hearing the good voice again. I don't know why the program cre keeps crashing. This is so annoying. Unbelievably annoying. You have no idea. And uh, yeah, so that's the... I'm going to have to keep checking back over here. That's so annoying. So annoying. Um, so that's smell. Sight smell. And I guess it's time for the taste. Uh, upgraded our coffee cups. This time we have a nice little mug. You know, ceramic, made out of ceramic. Gonna go ahead and uh, taste the coffee. Oh, you know what? I'll pour the coffee, but I'll taste the cigar first. So, gonna go ahead and cut it. Straight cut as usual. Straight cut as usual. Rory gave me a nice idea. You know you know Rory from the comments. Rory gave me a nice idea. He said instead of... Uh, so maybe instead of uh, smoking different cigars, why don't you smoke the same cigar with different cuts since it actually does change the flavor and everything. Great idea, Rory. I don't know if I want to do that yet though because it's only been like 30 episodes. I don't know how many cigars. I, I want to try as many cigars as I can with the straight cut before I start, you know, dwelling into other, or, you know, diving into other, other cuts and other, you know, other styles of smoking. But, uh, Good, good, good. I love that idea. I'm going to definitely implement that. Thinking maybe season two. I'm not sure how I'm going to work out, work this out. Am I going to be doing this, you know, six times a week for the, for the, you know, for forever. But, um, season two will, uh, I'll probably pull you guys, see what you guys like and see what you guys are, are feeling for this, uh, podcast. I mean, ultimately at the end of the day, this is all about you guys. Like, I care more about what you think than what I really want to do. So whatever you guys want me to do, I'll do. Um, and if you want me to do that sooner, guys, if you want me to start doing different cuts on the cigars sooner rather than later, go ahead and leave a comment saying that as well because why wouldn't I do it if that's what you guys want? You know what I mean? Like why would, why would, I, why would I not give the people what they want? I'm a people person. You know what I mean? I'm here for the people. This is for you. Alright, gonna go ahead and light this. Nice taste. Nice taste. Mm. It's a good cigar. If you haven't tried this, I recommend it. Nice. Oh, well, I wouldn't well, I would recommend it. I love this cigar. But maybe you want to wait until I give it the score with the coffee before you go out and get it. That's fine, too. So not a lot of spice off the first couple puffs. Oh, well, maybe a little all around my mouth, but very, very subtle, subtle spice, pepper, very subtle. Getting something clear, not sure what I want. Still warming up on the cigar, so I can't really say for sure what it is that I'm tasting. And everything that's going through my mind right now is just how many emails and messages and DMs I have to go and answer after I'm done with this episode. Been out of town for since Friday, and oh God, I'm so tired. You'd think that I was in Bimini, you know, on vacation or whatever. No, it was hard work, hard work. Definitely getting an aroma of nuts, not nut sack, but like pecans or al almonds. Not spicy, not peppery. It is a little. I'm not going to say it's not. Scratch that. It is a little, but it's not very overwhelming at all. This is a nice, where do I see myself smoking this? I could, hmm, hmm. I'm an old man. Mm. This is a uh, 
let me sit down and think cigar. Definitely. And I guess Maduro's typically are like that as well. But this one, the, the Maya Selva, this Flor de Selva Maduro, it's the look between the look, the smell, the taste of it. I really, and I guess this is me describing the taste, but this taste and the smell and the sight, everything all about this cigar just makes me, let me sit with my guayabara on, my nice little hat, you know, 75 degree weather, nice and warm, the sun hitting my face. Maybe no, 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 scratch that. I'm in the shade, but there's a lot of sun and you feel the heat, but you're still sitting there and you're enjoying the cigar, maybe on a balcony overlooking the ocean. No, 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 this isn't one of those. This is, I'm sitting in my form, my farm in Cuba, not Cuba, maybe Cuba, sitting on the porch of my farm, overlooking my second store, second story balcony of my farmhouse, overlooking the green and watching the sunset. That's what I see in this. This isn't, this is a, this is a afternoon coffee cigar. This is not a morning coffee cigar. So coffee and cigars, every cigar we've smoked before, for the most part, 90, you know, every single one except maybe the last call, if you, and even the last call was, you know, a little strong, but every cigar before that was a nice Connecticut. And that was definitely, those are definitely morning cigars. And people might enjoy this in the morning. Have to keep looking over to make sure it's not recording, but people might enjoy this in the morning. But you know what? This is for me personally, this is sit down, not the end of the day, maybe during your break to go into the late afternoon, you know, finish your work, all that good stuff. This is, let me sit down, overlook everything that's happened, look forward for the work that I'm going to do tonight or tomorrow, maybe late afternoon, watching the sunset when you're just done. That's what this cigar tastes like. And that's what I feel like this cigar would be for. Good cigar. Good cigar. I was going to say, I thought it stopped recording again. Why program do you do this to me? I don't know why. Nice aroma in my mouth too. And now that I've gotten further into it, like I really no spice at all. Nice cigar. Nice cigar. I'm telling you, it's the Maduros, of course, are always going to have more flavor than the Connecticut's and more than the Albanos. And of course, the Albanos are going to have more than the Connecticut's as well. Connecticut's are very, you know, not bland, but they're very easygoing, very subtle, not there. This one kind of has a subtleness to it, but it's definitely there. And you know it's there because it's so good and it's not that it's so good, but you know, it's, it's there and it's there and it tells you that it's there. Taste is dominating. It's like very dominant. It's not a easy going cigar. I'm laid back. No, no, no. This is a tough cigar. This is a, this is a, let me, let me effing show you who I am. Let me, let me show you. You know what I mean? That's what this is. But of course, it would not be complete. Whoops. It would, of course. But of course, it would not be complete without the coffee. So let's go ahead and taste that. Coffee. I mean, what can I say? It's good. I'm going to finish this cup, this entire cup, before I go back to the cigar. Get that little caffeine boost, even though it feels like I'm energetic already. Oh my god, I've gotten way too comfortable in front of the camera. This is crazy. Nice. Very nice. Gonna pour the second cup. Can't drink it all at once. You gotta remind me, guys, I can't drink it all at once. Hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting. Cigar. This cigar is not strong, but it has a lot of flavor. So it's kind of numbing out the flavor that you get from the coffee at the same time. Mmm. Mmm. It's like a a nutty caramel. A nu Oof, someone's walking in. I'll catch you guys shortly. All right, sorry about that, guys. Uh, customer, again, we work in a cigar shop, so we never really know what customers are going to walk in. We welcome you to walk in whenever you want, because, of course, we are a business, and we would like to sell you cigars. So, Back to the combination. I don't remember exactly. Oh, the caramel nutty flavor was coming out. Let me try some more. It's like a, like one of those chocolates that has the peanuts or the pecans inside, the, it has nuts inside of it, like the M&M peanut version of it. Yeah, something like that, or like a peanut butter, peanut butter caramel shake, peanut butter chocolate caramel, something like that. It tastes really good. I think the caramel comes from the sugar inside, because I do put a lot of sugar, Cuban style, inside the coffee, and then... The chocolate is coming from the cigar. I said the cigar is giving me a lot of chocolate, I'm getting coffee, peanut butter, and caramel when I mix the both. A, a caramel, a caramel, a uh, caramel, uh, peanut butter, caramel, uh, chocolate, peanut butter, caramel. I'm sorry, I'm getting so stuck, I'm stuck on these. I forgot to record on the voiceover. Oh my god, I'm dumb. I'm so dumb and then I have to clap to resync the audio and I didn't I just realized I didn't clap before so it's all gonna be messed up and it's gonna take me longer to edit not really that much longer but it's still a process which shouldn't have had to happen nonetheless uh, good I'm gonna finish the coffee and I'm gonna puff on it a couple more times great construction too. great construction on this cigar nice ripples that I'm getting from it as well I could really see myself, you know, drinking this on my grandpa's farm or just on any farm, watching the sunset on a nice field, camping trip on the cliff of a mountain. This would be very nice, very, very nice. Got a little coffee on my nose. And uh, if you guys didn't know, we have an Instagram that you could follow us at, at Gable Cigars. Quick little plug while I take an Instagram story, because if not, I'm going to forget later. So we do have an Instagram, at Gable Cigars. And we do have another one for the actual podcast, thelounge.media. At Gable Cigars at cigar uh, at Gable Cigars at the Lounge dot Media, both of which are ours. The Lounge dot Media is the show's actual um, Instagram. At Gable Cigars is the stores. I'm ready to rate this. Phenomenal, phenomenal. And I don't know the high score. There could have been a higher one than this, but uh, overall, this was a really, really nice combination. I'm a, I'm a light smoker, but this was a nice, nice cigar to try with coffee. Lots of flavor that I got out of it. Lots of history that I know could be made with the cigar. Lots of uh, memories being made as well. You know, thinking, a lot of pondering, insight thoughts being surfaced through the use of the cigar pairing. Cigar and coffee pairing. 
So the official score, well, the official uh, diagnosis of this cigar, I guess I would say, is to smoke it. Smoke it because it's a really good and pair it with some Cuban coffee. Uh, I know I wanted to start a, uh, well, let me not talk about this because uh, it's a secret and you guys will find out about it in the future. But uh, I'm ready to score it. So give me a drum roll, please. The official score from the lounge, coffee and cigars, number six, Flor de Selva Maduro Toro Cigar with Cuban coffee gives us a grand total of bum, bada, bum, 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 eight. 8. 8.8 8 out of 10 marvelous cigar great flavor paired with the coffee gave us some unreal unreal combinations like who would have thought i would have tasted a peanut butter chocolate caramel swirl in a cigar and coffee pairing who would have thought i would have tasted something like that very good pairing absolutely loved it a you know, just blew my mind how well they went together. I think this is the high score. You'll see it, you know, in one of these corners. I think, yeah, you'll see it in this corner. I think right here, what the uh, what the high score was. Podcast listeners, I'm sorry, but uh, you could watch the episodes on uh, YouTube, and you'll see a little graphic that says the score that I give it, and also previous the previous high score if it did not break it or the new high score if it is the high score that i do live here for this segment so wow just a great pairing overall just wow honestly just wow leave it at that if you like what we had to say and you want to see more go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel uh you know i like to think that i work hard to bring you an episode basically every day except sunday i heard a really good line one time the guy said uh, Jesus didn't work on Sunday, so neither do I. So, um, oh, I didn't want to bring religion into it, but I guess something that I, I just thought it was funny that he said that. So that's not why I do it. I think Sunday is just like a family day, I guess, kind of cause religion, but like either way, I think I want to start releasing videos on Sundays too. I just don't know what to do and I want to do something different. I don't want to do a podcast on a Sunday. I want to do something different. I don't know what it is, but, um, Expect Sunday videos as well in the near future, very near future. Either way, guys, thank you for staying tuned to the end of the episode podcast. Uh, my name is Javier Cobus. You can follow us at Gable Cigars at thelounge.media, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow for Let's Talk number six. Mm-hmm.